So today's webinar, we'll be looking at little tips and tricks to getting things done faster in AOA. So we'll be looking at little hacks and little shortcuts that you may not be aware of. So the first thing I'm going to be looking at is the mind maps. I'm just giving you a few hints and tricks of how you can get ideas down a little bit faster. So in this view, you can see that we are in speed map view. And speed maps allow you to get your ideas down a little bit quicker than in organic view. And what you can also do is use shortcuts. So for example, if I just zoom in here, if I use the tab button, it allows me to add a branch really quickly without having to navigate with the mouse. If I use enter, that creates a child branch on the same level. So tab for a child branch and enter for a sibling branch. You can see combining that with speed maps allows you to get ideas down really quickly. Another secret option that we have here that you might not be aware of is the idea bank. So if you click on the menu up here, here we've got an option called show idea bank. And this creates a little area where you can quickly add ideas that you're not quite sure where you're gonna put on the mind map yet. Example. You can very, very, very quickly just type and add a series of you know, different ideas. And then later on, when you when you suddenly work out where it sort of fits into your mind map, you can just drag and drop and add that onto the mind map. And if you're working with a group of people, you can make these ideas um, visible to everyone on that mind map. So perhaps if someone else sees you know, an opportunity to add your idea where it really fits, you know, they can go ahead and do that. So as well as having ways to qu quickly mind map and quickly share your ideas, um, we've also got useful ways to get from this point, so idea generation and collaboration, to actioning things. And we've recently introduced a new feature called the taskbar, so right down here at the bottom. And if I click on that, what I can do is even create an entirely new task board um, in which I can send tasks from this mind map to that task board without even having to go back to the home screen. So, And I can invite people. I can create the task board there. So what this means is that I can start adding to this task board without actually leaving my mind map. So if I click on this branch, you can see I've got this little icon here. If I drag and drop that, I can drop that in to different categories and that creates a new task from this branch. So you can see I can multitask here. I can you know, use this space to generate new ideas, but also start managing my task board all within the same space. So I'm not having to tab back and forth. I'm not having to you know, go in and out of the home page. I'm able to do it all from one space. You can do that with existing task boards. Um, you, know, you can create as many new task boards from this space as you want. You know, you're really not limited at all. So the next thing I'm going to look at is the multi select tool. And that is a way of quickly editing multiple branches.
So if you hold control and then select different branches, this brings up this new toolbar here, here which is called the multi-select tool. So this first option here is the style. So I can use this to change the style of the box branch. And I can change the colors all at the same time as well. I can also use this to mass delete, to mass export. And you know, if I reopen that taskbar, um, I will also be able to add multiple tasks at the same time as well. And they don't even need to be on the same branches. You know, I can have multiple branches as well. Um, Okay, so that's an example of you know, things you can do with the multi select tool just to speed up um, different, you know, customization um, options. So I'm going to look at a feature that I haven't talked about in a while, and it's hidden right up here. Um, it's called AOA chat. And it's a great way to quickly chat with your team members, or you know, other people that you collaborate with regularly who also use AOA. As well as being able to chat, um, there are a couple of other extra features in there which are really useful for quickly creating tasks or branches. So, for example, you know, I'm here chatting to a colleague, and if I want to send her a task rather than having to create a brand new task board or even navigate to a new task board, now I can send her a task directly. So, if I click on this icon. This allows me to create a new task. It sends it to this person directly. I don't need to necessarily add it into a task board. Um, they will see it. It will be kept in their task received. So they'll be able to really quickly see what they've been sent and you can see exactly what you've sent them. So, you know, if you don't want to spend time making different task boards and you just want to send tasks to people really quickly, then the chat is a great way of doing that. So what you can also do is if you're having a conversation with someone and you say something that you realize you need to action. So, for example. If I hover over that, you can see this icon here. If I drag that, that allows me to create a new task straight from what I've said in this conversation. So I can assign that to somebody else and I've got my new task. So I could do that on you know, anything that I say or anything that my colleague says, I can drop it in to that task board you know, straight away. And once I've added it in, I'll be able to edit it in exactly the same way as I can any other task. I can also do that in the mind map view as well. I click this button and just drag and drop and drop it over the branch. It creates a new branch on that mind map.
it just say, say, saves you a bit of time and means that, you know, if, if you're having a discussion and someone comes up with a great idea, rather than, you know, needing to do it later or trying to remember it, you can drag and drop it into a mind map or a task board right at that moment. Now, what I tend to do, and this will be my little tip to you, is up here we've got my planner. And often, you know, if, if I've got a colleague who, you know, asks me a question, I think, okay, I can't do that right now, but I need to look back at that in an hour. I very, very quickly can just drag and drop exactly what they've said or asked me. I can drop it into my planner, schedule myself, you know, a reminder for like an hour ahead, and I can come back to that later. It's a really, really handy little tool. So as well as being able to start chats from the sidebar, you can also very, very quickly start, cha uh, start chats from your task board or your mind map. So here, where you can see you know, all the people that are on this task board, if I click on that, there's an option that says create board chat with members. And that creates a brand new chat with the same name as the task board, automatically inviting everyone that's already part of this board. So if you very quickly wanted to schedule maybe a very quick meeting, maybe you wanted to very quickly get some feedback or update everyone, you, know, you can start that chat really, really quickly. You know, everyone will know what that's about. They'll be able to see that it's related you know, to an ongoing task board and everyone will be included. So you won't have to worry about creating a massive group and trying to remember, you know, everyone you need to invite, they're already gonna be in there. You can also do exactly the same in the mind map view. And if you have um, ultimate, you can also start a Zoom meeting you know, straight from your board or your mind map that will automatically invite um, everyone who is part of that board. So there are lots of great ways to very quickly you know, start conversations or meetings uh, without accidentally excluding someone who should be there. Now within these group chats, um, there are ways to get um, people's attention. So for example, if you need to speak to somebody in particular, um, but you want everyone else to see the answer, so you wanna keep it in the group chat. If you just um, use the at sign on your keyboard, it will bring up a list of different people. And when you send that message, that person will get a direct notification up here to let them know that they've been tagged. Alternatively, if you want to show that um, a message is for everyone and needs everyone's immediate attention, you can use at all and that will tag everyone. That way, even if they're not looking at the chat at that moment, you know, they're gonna be notified um, and it shouldn't escape their attention. Now, another feature that is exclusive to um, um, Ultimate customers, um, but is really handy if you have um, a team or you work in a, a company with you know, lots of different departments, um, we've got a feature called Groups. And where this can come in handy is if you've got groups of people who tend to work together on a regular basis, um, you can create groups here. Um, you know, people can be in multiple groups. And where this helps with time saving is that when you create, um, whether it's task boards, mind maps, or group chats, you can invite entire groups to those boards rather than having to invite them individually. And that just can really save a lot of time, especially, you know, if you have the same people working together on a regular basis. So you can see here, you know, I've got a mix of different groups here. So, you know, groups in your AOA plan. So that's if you have a team subscription, you know, all these people will be people that are on your subscription. Whilst your groups, they can be a mix of people. So they could be, um, you know, potentially 
uh, free users, maybe people outside your company that use AOA, or perhaps if you're a, a single user and you want to collaborate with other single users or other teams, you could create the groups here. So to do that, what you need to do is just click the green plus sign, um, name your new group. Just pick and choose you know, who you want to add. You can also choose whether everyone can see this group or whether group members are only the ones able to see it. So that means that if I was to create a new chat, for example, then if I click focus group, that adds everyone from that group straight away. Likewise, now if I create a new mind map, then rather than inviting um, in individual people, I can invite that group instead. So next I'll be focusing um, on the task boards and just showing you just a quick, a few quick tricks on how to focus in on different different tasks and different people. So for example, oh, and this is also quite a nice trick. So if you want to very, very quickly assign multiple people to a different um, task board. So for example, you may have created all the tasks but not decided you know, who you want to add it um, who you want to assign them to yet. If you use this drop down, you can just drag people's avatars onto the tasks. So it means that you don't need to go in and out of the different tasks. You can literally just drag and drop. You can see how quickly I've managed to assign most of those tasks. Um, if you've got a uh, pro or ultimate, you also have access to the Gantt timeline. And this is a really great view for quickly scheduling your tasks. So none of these have start or due dates at the moment. But if I click and drag on this timeline, can very, very quickly start scheduling these different tasks. So just make sure when you're dragging and dropping, you're doing it in line with one of these tasks. I can, and if I haven't got it quite in the right space, I can just drag it across. So if I move back to the workflow now, you can see I've gone from, you know, two minutes ago, not having anyone assigned and not having any start or due dates to suddenly, you know, this task board looks, you know, really active and ready to start working on. So, you know, as things move on, and this task board gets bigger, I can use the filter to very quickly focus on um, you know, who's working on what, you know, who's got the most work. So if I click on this blue filter, here I can filter by assignees. So for example, if I just wanted to see what I was working on, you know, I can filter out everyone else's tasks and just focus on mine. Or if I wanna check up on different people's workloads, and I can just click on them instead. 
and in here we've got loads of different ways of doing it so if you wanted to filter by importance by urgency you can do that if you're looking for tasks with attachments we've got that there as well and you can filter by start by start date and due date another option we've got in here which you know initially it might take a little time to set up and get into the flow but over time you know it, it will be quite time saving is our tags option so tags allow you to filter and by using tags you can set up a system so you, know, you might use tags um, for different departments or clients And as you add that, and as you add those different tags, it's just going to make it a lot faster for you to um, really drill down and find the tasks that are relevant to you in that point in time. And then just press X to clear. And that will bring all of the tasks back. Um, so the next few I'm going to have a look at for those you know, handy time saving tips um, is the whiteboard. So the whiteboard is a great way of um, visualizing different actions. It's almost a, um, a nice halfway point between a mind map and a task board, and it's really easy to jump um, between those different spaces as well. So if you can see here, um, I've got a shortcut to a task board that I'm already working on. And that's really, really handy and time saving. So you know, if, if you're discussing a, a task board that's related to this, rather than having to go back to the home page or, or having to you know, keep another tab open, you can create a shortcut. So if you click on here, You'll be able to see you know, all the boards that you're part of. And it's easy as just dragging, dropping it into the board. So that you'll be able to see it on the whiteboard then. So you, know, you can link mind maps, task boards, and whiteboards here. And if I just click you know, open mind map, this brings me straight to that mind map that we were looking at earlier. But I can also click back to that whiteboard at any time as well. So it's really easy for me to switch between the two. So as well as those options, you know, if you're creating a whiteboard where you decide actually this would be better as a task board or as a mind map, you can use the export options up here. So the next thing I will be looking at, which would be really helpful to those of you who may be new to mind mapping, new to task boards, new to whiteboards, and you're really not quite sure where to start. Um, we introduced uh, templates which are available to free users as well as paid users. And no matter which of these options you click on, you'll see you've got this range of templates to choose from. And these cover um, a range of different topics. So whether you're looking to start a personal project or a work-related project, um, there'll be something in there that's really going to help you. It just makes it so much easier to quickly get started. And once you've clicked on it, then you'll be able to you know, customize it and make it personal to you. And you know, if, if you're using a template of one of, one of ours and you think that's great, 
but there's something I could do to maybe tweak it that's more relevant to me. <clears throat> you can do that and then turn it into a template of your own as well. So I'm just gonna show you how you would do that in the mind map view and the task board view. So in the task board view, the option is in the settings and that's right down here. So create template from task board. And in the mind map view, you'll find it here as well. So create temp template from my map. And once you've done that, once you've created the template, your own template um, will be accessible from this section here. And that's really time saving. If you tend to do quite similar projects that follow similar workflows again and again and again, you know, rather than having to set them up from scratch each time, you, know, you can set up um, your own customizable template and just use that again and again. Um, you can also share your templates with other people as well. So, you know, if you've got a new starter and you maybe want to set up some onboarding for them, um, you can share those templates with them. So to do that, just go to my templates, click on the settings and then go to share template. And you can just put in their email address and they will then get a copy of that template that they can then use at any time. So finally, my last time saving tip for you today, as you can see on the side here, we've got folders. And if you haven't used them before, um, they're a great way to organize your different boards. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you have um, a lot of different boards, um, you can start organizing them. And I recommend, you know, creating, you know, make the first folder that you create, perhaps your, you know, most used ones. And that way you can move your boards, you know, in and out of that folder, um, you know, depending on, you know, how often you're using it. Um, you can also star and favorite them so that in, in this folder section, the starred ones will always show at the top. Um, so to create a new folder, just click new, click folder. and then just drag and drop the different boards into that folder. Okay, so those are a couple of different ideas on how to save time in AOA and those you know, little uh, tips and tricks that you may find useful. So what I'm gonna do now is just ask you, you know, if you have any questions, if there's anything that you were unsure of, you know, that you would like me to show again, or perhaps something I haven't shown yet. I can see that there's one question already. So I'm just gonna have a little look. Okay, so the first question is, once in the taskbar, can you group multiple tasks together? Okay, so I'm just gonna go back um, to that taskbar. So just in case this, this bit isn't clear. So this here is a category. Um, much like we, um, in the same way that we have categories here. So these tasks are grouped into a category. So this category is planning and everything underneath that is a task. And these two examples here, they are also categories. 
So for example, if I go, if I just skip to that task board, you can see that that is grouped. So if, if I add um, another another task to those categories, you'll see that there are multiple um, tasks in there. Are folders only available on desktop, not on iPad? Um, I think they're still only on the desktop and window, Windows app at the moment. I don't believe they're available on the iPad and iPhone quite yet. Okay, so there's a question about backing up mind maps. So there's not really any need to back up the mind maps. Um, all of our, all of your boards are saved onto our servers, and we ensure that you know that data and that information is regularly backed up. So if we were to ever have you know any issues, you know we're, you know your your data would be absolutely fine. Um, um you know, as AOR is cloud-based and in order for for you know the mind maps and task boards to sync across all the different devices um all those boards are um stored um on our cloud servers um yes um the webinar has been recorded and we'll send out a recording tomorrow On Safari. Oh, so folders. Um, so on Safari on Mac, um, yes, you should. Well, you will. You you if uh, you'll be using the web app um, on Safari on on desktop. Um, so you should have folders there. Okay, so someone who's a new user. Um, yes, if you go on our YouTube channel, uh, we have a playlist with a lot of our previous webinar recordings. And we've got a webinar which is entirely focused on mind mapping, um, which you'll find really useful. Um, we also have user guides. So on um, support.aowa.com, um, we've got lots and lots of guides. Um, which cover you know, the different features across all the different platforms. We've got a section entirely dedicated to mind mapping in there. Uh, but the best, best place to start, I would say, is go to our YouTube channel and you'll see our webinar playlist and have a look at the mind map one there. So if you've accidentally deleted it, to be honest, what I would suggest is if you're worried about accidentally deleting your boards, you can archive them instead. So if this is something that you're you know, really quite anxious about, instead of deleting, you know, if you go to the settings, then down here, you've got an option called archive. And if you click it to yes, that archives the board And that you know, removes it from your main view, but you can restore it at any time. So I, I'd really, really recommend um, using archiving rather than deleting if you are worried about accidentally deleting your boards. So I just showed you that on the task board view, um, but you can do exactly the same um, on the mind map view as well. And that's in the settings. So in the settings for the board, just click on archive, yes. Um, whenever you go to delete the boards, you know, it will ask you, are you definitely sure? And if you are not sure, archive. 
Um, is there a link for YouTube webinars? Um, yes, if you just give me a moment, um, I'll be able to send you in the right direction. So I've actually got the link here. So I've just shared that with you. And I'll just share that in the chat as well, if anybody else would like that. So just to go through, you know, the different places where you can get support and learn more about AOA. So as I mentioned, if you go to support.aoa.com, then we've got a huge library of different guides and that covers um, all the different platforms and all the different features. Then on YouTube, we've got that playlist that I mentioned and I've just shared with you on the AOA chat. Um, and that has a playlist with you know, different webinars that we've previously done. So, you know, if, if you are someone who really wants to focus more on mind mapping, maybe you want to focus more on task boards. You know, we've got webinars that focus on those particular features. And then if you've got any other questions, if you pop us over an email at support at you know, we'd be delighted to help. Uh, we do these webinars on a weekly basis. Uh, so next week we'll be doing getting started in AOA. So the, the person who mentioned, you know, that they're really new to AOA and they're just using the free version at the moment, you know, that webinar um, could be a really good one to sign up to as it will give an overview of you know more of the basic features and how to get started in whiteboards mind maps and task boards and even if you can't attend at that time if you just sign up you'll be sent a recording the day after anyway so it's always worth signing up to them even if you're not sure you'll actually be able to attend it live and then the following week we'll be doing an introduction to templates um, I lightly touched um, on templates today, but I'll be going into slightly more detail um, on the 3rd of February. Okay, um, does anyone else have any other questions? Okay, um, so someone mentioned that they need more advanced info in the future. Um, we run these webinars every week every week, usually on a Wednesday. Um, during February, there'll be one that'll be on a Tuesday instead, um, but we run them on a weekly basis. And as I mentioned, you know, even if you, know, you can't attend at that time, perhaps it doesn't quite work for your time zone, just register for it um, and you'll be sent an email with a recording the next day. And if for any reason, maybe you've missed that, you know, we'd be happy to send you a link. So just pop us an email at support at aoa.com if for any reason you, know, you can't find that email. Okay, yeah, if, if, you've, if for some reason you've missed that video, just, just, yeah, just pop us over an email. Um, you know, it might well be on that um, webinar playlist that we've, I've sent over. Um, but if, if you've missed any, you know, just, just let us know. Okay, so I'm going to finish the webinar there. Um, but as I mentioned, you know, we'll be doing this, um, doing a webinar again next week. Um, and any, any, if you've got any more questions that maybe that don't come to you till after this webinar, just pop us an email at supportedao.com. Okay, thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.